Welcome to the Engineering and Public Works Road Show, a joint effort from the American Council of Engineering Companies, the American Public Works Association, and the American Society of Civil Engineers, coming to you from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, at the Great Trail State Conference. Uh, we're celebrating the Great Trail State, North Carolina, and we're taking a look at a lot of infrastructure here, public infrastructure, which is either a greenway or a, uh, or a rail to trail, in this case, for our conversation, is going to be focusing on a bridge in Winston-Salem. And these are projects that really have a direct benefit, quality of life, improving uh, communities, uh, especially here in Winston-Salem. And I'm very pleased to be joined by uh, Rodney Money with HDR and uh, Jeff Fenzler with uh, the City of Winston-Salem Department of Transportation. We're talking about the Green Street Pedestrian and Bicycle Bridge. Uh, I have to... Uh, also make the point that it was ranked as the number two bridge in wow. North America. That's 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 no small feat. That's 2021. Right. Also, a 2022 state EEA award-winning project, grand award, and also a national recognition award project at ACC Nationals Awards in 2022. So congratulations. Right. It's a, yeah. that's a, that's a lot of awards for for this bridge. So, you know, Jeff, let's start off from the city's perspective. What was the need here? And what was really the, the, the outlook on, on, on getting this bridge designed? Yeah, so the need in Winston-Salem is real clear because we have a major highway that runs right through the downtown core. Very dated, built in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. Really provided some access challenges into downtown. Yeah. And so after about a decade of project development and really understanding the need of mm -hmm. modernization, yeah. I think we saw some opportunities to get this right. We had a lot of public engagement. We had a lot of interest in the community to see what we can do to make this the corridor of, of scale and of interest for, the, for our community. And in doing so, we saw a need to integrate some multimodal aspects mm -hmm. as well. And so herein lies the need to transform our connections across the parkway yeah. and providing access to, uh, to the pedestrians that, that, that want to access downtown that live on the other side yeah. of the parkway. And, and, and from a design perspective, with the HDR coming on, on the project, how did you approach this, uh, this, this opportunity really? Now, you know, the challenge, but also a great opportunity for the city. Yeah, I think it's important to note that the city had worked uh, previously with the Creative Corridors Coalition, which is a volunteer group, and they're interested in bringing, um, emphasizing, you know, the city's dedication to art and innovation to the area. Uh, so they helped to raise some funds. They came up with the concept, the idea, if you yeah. will, for what the Green Street Bridge and the uh, Strollway Pedestrian Bridge look like. So when we were uh, pursued and awarded the design build contract, we took those ideas and kind of brought them to life, really put a design to them, uh, constructed, brought them to life. This is a robust bridge and it really does signify, it does look to the future, right? I mean, mm -hmm. it's designed in such a way where it is that bridge to the 21st century. How important was that in taking that group's you know input into practice for the actual practical design yeah i think you can take a look at the bridge itself and see yeah. that it's a one of a kind structure mm -hmm. there's not another one like it in north carolina maybe not even in north america um it's the bridge itself is a self-tied arch structure it's got a longitudinal post-tension deck so mm -hmm. it, it supports itself yeah. with the cables and the arches um it was a really a real challenge for design and construction, um, but I think it's something that the community, uh, the city can really look at and say, be pretty proud of yeah. once it's in place, yeah. Absolutely, and I mean, what, from your perspective with the city, I mean, what does it mean for Winston-Salem to have this, you know, this new piece of physical, you know, it, one of those things that you would always talk about is, you know, whenever you're doing some design work, I mean, you really leave a lasting impression wherever you're doing the project. I mean, what does this mean in, 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 your, in your thoughts for the city? Well, I think for Winston-Salem, being the city of arts and innovation, yeah. that bridge tells that story. And so with Creative Corridor's vision, with partnerships with HDR and bringing that to life and really providing that iconic nature right there outside of the ballpark, right there next to some major employers and some of our, our universities in the area, it really says Winston-Salem is an innovative city. Yeah, absolutely. and and. What's been the community response so far from, from the project? Yeah, so our community is, is all for it. And what this has done is opened up opportunities for multimodal access across yeah. Salem Parkway. 
We're going to enhance that through future Greenway connections. We're going to leverage that for, for events at the stadium, for other areas in the, along the corridor, and maximize its use in our city. Yeah. Jeff, if, if yeah, I could add absolutely. just a quick story here. Yeah. My children have friends who have driven through the corridor, mm -hmm. identified the bridge, and then notified yeah. my kids, hey, we saw your dad's yeah. project. But so, isn't that cool? I mean, what do you got to say? I mean, when you, when, you got, when you got into engineering, right, did yeah. you think that would be, uh, that would be the case? Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've been very fortunate in my career, you know, yeah. working with great clients and on uh, projects like this. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty special for sure. I mean, it is something that, to be able to leave that lasting imprint on an area. I think for, for you know, one of the things that we try with the Roadshow to do is to also open up this, uh, the, the entire, really all the careers within the built environment, whether it's from the municipal side, it's, uh, you know, from the client owner, to the engineer side to, to really just understand how important it is and essential it is as a, as a career. And um, I guess having that, being able to put a stamp on a place, right? It's gotta be, it's gotta be an interesting feeling. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Uh, Winston-Salem is my hometown. Yeah. And to, to be able to take part in something that's gonna be lasting and, and recognizable by the community, yeah, there, it doesn't get any better than that from an engineering standpoint, really. Yeah. And one of the key elements of that bridge is an architectural lighting component, which uh -huh. highlights every time we wanna illuminate something of significance in our city, it reminds us that this bridge gives us that platform to tell that story. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Rodney, Jeff, Thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate uh, and congratulate, really congratulations on this. I mean, it's it's distinctive when you have so many different bridge projects, especially bridge projects that some of them are these mega projects, right? That you have something that's in a in a, in a, uh, a, a special area that gets recognition of being like the number two ranked in North America, and that's that is a significant achievement. So congratulations to you both. Thank you. Fantastic. And uh, thanks for being with us. This has been the Engineering and Public Works Roadshow coming to you from Winston-Salem at the Great Trail State Conference. And uh, we'll see you next time.